Yo, what's up guys? Today I here, no, the Insane Game Freak here, here to bring you another Pokemon Best Wishes uh, Season 2 episode review. I believe this is episode 37? Yes, 37, which is just continuing within this whole climax of the whole N versus Ash versus Team Plasma versus Team Rocket versus Looker versus Reshiram thing. Um, and most of this episode is just continuing on with the whole how Ash has changed in his perspective. You kind of get to see these cool relationship moments between Ash's Pokemon and each other. Then, obviously, it's gone pretty much, it's, it's like typical Shonen shit at this point. It's like, and it's like, oh, Ash, you've taught me so many things. But I, and I don't want you to get hurt in this scuffle. So I will give myself to them because they got control of Pikachu and everything. And it wasn't like Ash and Silent were holding their own. It was more of, uh, they the, the, the Colrus is controlling the device is kind of like they're, they're, they're ace in the hole. They're using it as a, as a means to essentially stop Ash and friends from progressing or fighting for too long because then they run the threat of Colrus just being like, I control you, I control you, I control you. I control you, I control you, 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 and you. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> and then they, and then they don't, and then they're screwed because now they don't have any Pokemon to defend themselves with, and they're at the mercy of them. Granted, they're still at the mercy of them because to return your Pokemon means you now don't. Also, you don't have your guard, so you're screwed either way. Um, and because Pikachu doesn't go inside his Pokeball for whatever reason, you know. They, that was the threat they used, and Ash does the whole, Pikachu, you're my friend. The only thing I thought was uh, good is that they didn't have Pikachu break through for, with the power of friendship. They actually just had in sacrifice himself, and they moved on with the plot. And usually what they like to do is they like to get overly shonen about that kind of shit. They've done this before, I believe. And it's like, oh, Pikachu, I believe in you. You can fight it, Pikachu, fight it. And then Ash, and then it'll get through for Pikachu for whatever goddamn reason. And it won't work for anyone else. And then Ash is amazing because he's main character. So I am happy they just did it traditionally and him give himself up because he's grown to like Ash so much. And especially even during the scenes where uh, his Pokemon are working together to get out of the uh, the cave and shit. That was a nice thing just in general. Uh, I did like I like how the looker the looker killed me in, in, in certain points. Like like the first he, like first off he, he's the one who avoid got get, he avoided getting caught because. They use like the the fighting as a way to kind of separate themselves. So like, per, uh, Professor Juniper. I even like the fact that Ash quotes Professor Juniper, uh, and I'm talking about obviously the old one, not the not the young, hot, attractive one. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, I like the fact that he quotes him. But on top of that, you know, you have Looker by himself, and Looker, Looker's like, shit. What am I gonna do? I need to I need to stall time. Before the uh, the international police get here, and he's like, "All I got is this pipe." <laughs> and like, it was stupid because Chorus is about to try to take control of Pikachu. No, no, he was trying to take control of the Pokemon, and Looker ended up serving as a distraction. Even though what he was trying to do is he was trying to take the pipe and go ham on that damn device. And I kind of wish that he had made it because if he had, that would have been one of the funniest scenes. To be like, "Fuck yo device." Check out, fuck, yo, device. Because it was just, it was so ridiculous and stupid. And I was just like, it was just funny because of how ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it was still funny regardless. But, I mean, there's not too much to say because Team Rocket doesn't do anything in these episodes. Uh, except for background commentary. And it's not like the goofy commentary. It's just basic background commentary. Um, so, essentially, we just have... Someone actually mentioned my video that I say essentially too much, and I probably do. But what pretty much happens at that point is that Gators finally arrives. They got the White Stone. They got in. It's like, and you're not really needed because we have Colrest and his controlling Pokemon device, which pretty much confirms it as if it wasn't obvious enough already that they plan to summon Reshiram and then have Colrest take control of him. I've already said this, so yeah. Um, and then obviously this episode ends would be continued. I believe next week. The episode actually is subbed already, so I'll probably watch that. But the next episode is the last episode of the end arc, and then we go into the Pokemon Orange Island ripoff. I don't, what the fuck is it actually called? I don't even know. 
I'm not really looking forward to this because I've heard two bad things already off the top. I've heard, I've heard two. I heard one that's potential, and I heard the other one is a fact. Yeah, Team Rocket apparently is goofy now, again, and I'm just like, no, we don't need this. You built a Team Rocket upon the structure of of them being serious. Not even I'm and serious and competent. Do not fuck that up just because we're in a new area of the because technically they're not gonna be in Unova anymore apparently, and I'm just like. Don't, don't do that, anime. Don't, don't do that shit, please. And they're probably gonna switch openings too. They probably have, because there's no reason to keep that opening after you, you know, after we finish with the end arc. Also, we, I, well, we do know from the next episode apparently Cheryl and uh, oh, damn, I forgot the girls' names. The girls with the Gardevoir and Gothitelle forgot their name. <laughs> it pissed me off because I know I know what they are. I think it's like Barbara. Barbara and uh, Annabelle, or I believe, or Barbara and Lauren. I don't even fucking know. I know Barbara's one of the names. That's the whole point. But uh, in terms of the whole new Orange Island ripoff arc, I heard Team Rocket is goofy, which annoys the shit out of me. The potential episode that comes out tomorrow, which I'll probably see the spoilers for, whether uh, Oshawott is leaving or evolving. I hope he just evolves. I really hope he doesn't do this shit where it's like, oh, Oshawott has to go away. I'm like, you built... You built you know don't do not betray the basics of Unova with this Orange Island ripoff bullshit. Don't you fucking do it. Uh what was the other thing I heard that annoyed me? And then oh, just the fact that it's an Orange Island ripoff, I think it was the third thing. But uh we'll see. We'll see. But uh I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'd like to thank you guys for supporting the video. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. This has been the Insane Game Freak. Life's a game, play to win, and I will catch you guys later. Peace, Pokemon.